Indian Clinometer. An Indian Clinometer is an instrument developed by Indian Standards Institution that is ISI on 28th December 1970. This is also known as the Tangent Clinometer or the Inclinometer. It is a handheld instrument that measures the height of objects and widely used in the fields of geology, forestry, construction and surveying. Parts of an Indian Clinometer. The Indian Clinometer consists of following parts. This has an eye vein, which has an eye hole. This is used to sight the objects. From this eye hole, we will view the object through the object vein. The object vein has the following parts. It has a horizontal wire. On the left hand side of the object vein, there are markings in degrees. On the right hand side, the equivalent tangent values are marked. This also consists of a locking mechanism. This locking mechanism helps to keep the object vein and the eye vein locked during the operation. It also has a leveling screw. This leveling screw helps us to adjust the final level of the Indian clinometer with respect to the gravity. The Indian clinometer also consists of a spirit bubble. This helps us level the clinometer with respect to gravity. The specifications of and Indian clinometer are as per ISI. The range of the Indian clinometer is plus and minus 22 degrees, plus 0 0.4 to minus 0 0.4. Extreme graduation distance bit on the object vein is 164 mm. When the object and the eye vein are fully open, they are at right angles with a tolerance of plus 1 by 100 degrees. When we adjust, the leveling screw it has a nominal diameter of 8 mm and a pitch of 0 0.5 mm that means one full rotation of the leveling screw in the clockwise direction will give us an increment of or an increase in height of 0 0.5 mm or when we rotate it anti-clockwise it's going to give us a decrement of 0 0.5 mm the least count of indian clinometer is 20 minutes or 0 0.005 that is the value of tan 20 minutes what is the principle behind the working of clinometer a clinometer works on the principle of measuring the angle of inclination or tilt with respect to the earth's gravitational field to understand the working of a clinometer better suppose we have to measure the height of a flagpole we can simply achieve this by looking through an empty straw and with this straw we can attach a protector to which there is a freely suspended weight. Wherever the weight falls, it gives us angle with respect to the gravity. We can measure the height of the object by the simple formula that is height is equal to tan theta into distance. The distance can be measured physically by a measuring tape. Now let us try to understand how the Indian clinometer works with the approachable method. To find the height of the flag, we have to place the Indian clinometer on a table and level it. After that, we will place the Indian clinometer on that table and level it again using the spirit level given in the Indian clinometer. And the final adjustments can be done using the screw. Then we look at the object through the eye vein and the object vein and make sure the eye vein coincide with the object. This will give us the tan value we can easily measure the vertical distance between the eye hole and the pole using a measuring tape and the height of eye hole from the ground that is hi that means height is equal to he plus hi we can find out he by putting the formula distance into tan theta so the final height of the pole h is equal to he plus hi adding he and hi will give us the final height of the object measuring the height using an indian clinometer the stadia or unapproachable method to do this we need to set up the indian clinometer not once but twice that means at points s1 and s2 once we have set up the table twice or we can set up one table at two points we can measure the distance between s1 and s2 again we have to look through the eye hole and view the crosshair and the object same we have to do from point S2. This will give us the value of tan alpha and tan beta. Again, we know the height of the object is equal to He plus Hi. Hi can be measured. He will be distance 
into tan alpha into tan beta upon tan beta minus tan alpha. This is going to give us the final height of the object. 